Howdy, folks! Welcome back to West America Facts. Today, we're delving into the culinary history of the Old West to uncover what cowboys really ate on the open range. It might not be what you expect, so saddle up and let's rustle up some grub. When we think of cowboys, we often picture them chowing down on beans by a campfire. While that's partly true, there's so much more to the cowboy diet. Cowboys in the Wild West had themselves a grub that was as practical as a sturdy pair of boots. Now, the exact vittles might have varied depending on where they were wrangling cattle, but you can bet your bottom dollar it was all about sustenance for their rugged way of life. One thing that most cowboys could count on was beef, and plenty of it. After all, they were often herding cattle across the open range, so beef was in ready supply. They cook it up in various ways, from hearty stews to sizzling steaks over a campfire. Beans were another staple, often in the form of chuckwagon beans, slow-cooked with bits of bacon or salt pork. When it came to grains, cowboys relied on hardtack, a kind of tough biscuit that could withstand the rigors of the trail. And you can't forget the coffee. Strong, black, and steaming from a tin cup was the cowboy way to start the day. Here are some common foods that cowboys typically ate during that era. Beans. When it comes to cowboy grub, beans, especially pinto beans, were about as common as a campfire under the stars. These little legumes were a staple of the cowboy diet for darn good reasons. First off, beans were mighty easy to store, which made them perfect for those long cattle drives across the open range. Cowboys could pack them up dry and tote them along without worrying about spoilage. When it was time for chow, all they had to do was rehydrate them and cook them up over an open fire. Cooking beans over the campfire was a tradition as old as the Old West itself. Cowboys would simmer them in big cast iron pots or Dutch ovens, often with a generous helping of bacon or salt pork for flavor. The result was a hearty, stick to your ribs meal that kept him fueled for long days in the saddle. So, whether it was on the dusty trail or gathered round the chuck wagon, beans were a trusty sidekick to every cowboy. They might not have been fancy, but they were practical, reliable, and a taste of the Old West that lives on to this day. Salted meat. Salted and cured meats like bacon, salt pork, and jerky were as common as a coyote's howl in the night. These meats were the real deal when it came to sustenance on the open range. Now, why were these meats such staples, you might wonder? Well, it's simple. They could be stored for a doggone long time without eating fancy contraptions like refrigeration. Cowboys could pack them up and carry them across the dusty trail without worrying about spoilage. Bacon and salt pork, often sizzled up in cast iron skillets, added flavor and much needed protein to the cowboy's diet. Jerky, made by drying strips of meat, was lightweight, easy to carry, and provided a portable source of sustenance for those long rides in the saddle. Imagine a cowboy, out on the open range with a satchel of jerky and a few strips of salted bacon. That's a meal fit for a cow hand. So, while it might not have been a fancy feast, salted and cured meats were the trusty companions of cowboys, keeping him fueled and ready for whatever the frontier had in store. Hardtack Hardtack, also known as pilot bread or ship's biscuit, was a true cowboy classic when it came to trail grub. This stuff was as tough as a bronco and could withstand all the rough handling that came with cattle drives. Hardtack was simple but mighty effective. It was made from just a few basic ingredients, flour, water, and salt. The dough was mixed up, rolled thin, and baked until it became hard as a rock. Well, maybe not as hard as a rock, but close enough. Now, what made hardtack so handy for cowboys was its long shelf life. This stuff could last for months without going bad, which made it perfect for those long journeys on the trail. All a cowboy had to do was throw some hardtack in his saddlebag and he had himself a reliable source of sustenance that wouldn't crumble to pieces. Sure, it wasn't the most exciting grub in the chuck wagon, but it was reliable, and it got the job done. Hardtack was the cowboy's answer to portable, durable, and long-lasting trail food, and it's still a reminder of the rugged and practical way of life in the Old West. Coffee Coffee was the lifeblood of cowboys on the open range. They drank it strong, black, and steaming from their trusty tin cups, and it was as vital to them as a lasso on the range. You see, cowboys often found themselves under that big starry western sky for long hours and even longer nights, 
whether they were watching over the herd or keeping the campfire burning. Coffee wasn't just a source of caffeine to keep their eyes open. It was a warm and comforting companion in the darkness. Making coffee over a campfire was a ritual as old as the cattle drives themselves. They'd toss coffee grounds into a pot, boil them up with water, and let the aroma of that black gold fill the night air. And when the coffee was finally ready, it was a welcome respite from the challenges of the trail. So, whether it was the pre-dawn hours or a midnight watch, coffee was the cowboy's friend, keeping him alert, warm, and ready for whatever the frontier had in store. It's a taste of the Old West that's as strong and enduring as the cowboys themselves. Biscuits. Biscuits the kind of biscuits we call scones here in the United States, were a regular part of the cowboy diet. These little rounds of baked goodness were versatile, biscuit, downright tasty. Cowboys would often whip up a batch of biscuits in their trusty Dutch ovens or bake them right on the open fire. It wasn't just about sustenance, it was about comfort too. The smell of biscuits cooking on the trail was as welcome as a friendly campfire. Whether they were served with beans, slathered with butter and honey, or just enjoyed plain, biscuits were a cowboy's delight. They provided that much-needed carb boost for long days in the saddle and a taste of home on the frontier. So, the next time you bite into a fresh biscuit, remember that you're savoring a little slice of cowboy history, a taste of the Old West that's as satisfying today as it was back on the open range. Stew, also known as son-of-a-gun stew, was a cowboy classic. It was a hearty, one-pot meal made with whatever ingredients were on hand, usually a mix of beans, beef, vegetables, and whatever else the chuckwagon cook had in the pantry. This stew was a real stick-to-your-ribs kind of meal, perfect for fueling cowboys during those long days in the saddle. The chuckwagon cook would simmer it up in a big old pot over the campfire, letting all those flavors meld together into a savory concoction. What made this stew so special was its versatility. Cowboys could toss in whatever ingredients were available, making it a flexible and practical meal for the trail. So, whether it was beans, beef, or a handful of wild greens, it all went into the stew pot, and the result was a meal as rugged and diverse as the Old West itself. Fresh Game Depending on the region and the opportunities nature provided, cowboys often had access to fresh game like venison, rabbit, or wild fowl. These critters were like a gift from Mother Nature herself, offering a break from the usual trail fare. Cowboys were resourceful, and they knew how to make the most of their surroundings. When the chance arose, they grabbed their rifles and go hunting for some fresh game to supplement their diet. Venison, with its tender and lean meat, was a real treat, and rabbits and wild fowl added variety to their meals. Hunting wasn't just about adding flavor to their chow. It was also a way to connect with the land and put their survival skills to the test. Plus, there's no denying that fresh game made for some mighty tasty campfire cooking. So, while beans, biscuits, and salted meats were the backbone of the cowboy diet, fresh game was a welcome change and a reminder that the Old West was as rich in culinary delights as it was in rugged adventure. Canned Goods As the railroad expanded westward, canned goods became more available and cowboys took full advantage of this convenient addition to their chuckwagon provisions. Canned vegetables, fruits, and meats added variety to the cowboy diet and provided a taste of home, even when they were far from civilization. These cans were easy to store, had a long shelf life, and could withstand the bumps and jolts of the trail without spoiling. Cowboys would pack their chuckwagons with cans of everything from canned beans and tomatoes to peaches and corn. And when it was time to rustle up a meal, they'd pop open a can and add it to their stews or enjoy it as a side dish. Canned goods brought a touch of culinary diversity to the cowboy's menu, and they were proof that even on the open range, you could have a taste of the comforts of home. So, whether it was a can of baked beans or a jar of peaches, these canned delights were a welcome sight for hungry cowboys on the trail. Whiskey Whiskey was as much a part of cowboy life as the wide open range itself. While it wasn't a food, it played a significant role in the cowboy's way of life. Whiskey was a versatile companion on the trail. It served as a recreational beverage, providing cowboys with a bit of relaxation and camaraderie around the campfire after a long day in the saddle. It warmed the bones and lifted spirits under the starlit western sky. 
but whiskey also had its practical uses. Cowboys would often rely on it for its antiseptic properties. In a world where medical care was limited, a swathe of whiskey could be used to disinfect wounds and ease the pain of injuries, making it a valuable addition to their makeshift first aid kits. So, whether it was for relaxation, camaraderie, or medicinal purposes, whiskey was a loyal companion to cowboys, adding a touch of warmth and courage to their rugged way of life on the frontier. Molasses and Sugar Molasses and sugar were like sweet treasures in the cowboy's chuck wagon. While they were used sparingly due to their limited availability, they added a touch of sweetness and flavor to some of the cowboy's staple dishes. When it came to beans, a dollop of molasses or a sprinkle of sugar could transform a simple pot of beans into a savory sweet delight. And in the morning, a spoonful of sugar in their strong black coffee helped take the edge off and made that cup of joe just a bit more enjoyable. These sweeteners might not have been as common as some of the other staples, but they were a cowboy's secret weapon for adding a bit of comfort and familiarity to their meals on the trail. So, whether it was the rich taste of molasses or the simple sweetness of sugar, these ingredients were a cherished addition to the cowboy's pantry. Sordo Sordo was a valuable ally to cowboys, especially in regions where yeast was hard to come by. This tangy and robust starter made it possible to bake bread on the trail without relying on scarce and perishable yeast. Cowboys would maintain their sordo starter by regularly feeding it with flour and water. This living culture of wild yeast and beneficial bacteria produced carbon dioxide, which helped the bread rise. The result was bread with a unique flavor and texture, loved by cowhands. Sordo bread was hearty and could withstand the rigors of the trail. It was often baked in Dutch ovens over campfires, adding a touch of variety to the cowboy's diet. So when they wanted a taste of home-baked bread, Sordo was their trusty companion, making it possible to enjoy fresh bread even in the rugged terrain of the Old West. The cowboy diet was all about practicality and sustenance, perfectly suited to the demands of life on the open range. It might not have been a gourmet feast, but it was a reliable and hearty menu that kept cowboys fueled for the demanding work of cattle herding and trail life. On those dusty trails and starry nights, food had to be portable, durable, and easy to prepare over a campfire. Cowboys relied on staples like beans, biscuits, salted meats, and coffee because they were easy to store, cook, and provide the necessary energy for long days in the saddle. While the cowboy diet might not have been the most varied, it was a true reflection of the rugged and resourceful nature of the Old West. It was a taste of a time when cowhands relied on the basics to get the job done and were fueled by the hearty fare that has become a symbol of their enduring spirit. So when you think about the cowboy diet, Remember that it was a taste of a life lived on the open range, where practicality was king, and every meal was a reminder of the frontier's challenges and triumphs. If you found this journey through cowboy cuisine as fascinating as I did, don't forget to hit that like button. Share this video with your fellow history enthusiasts, and subscribe for more delicious slices of history. Thanks for joining us today, and remember, the Old West may be gone but its flavors still linger in our culinary traditions. Until next time, keep the campfire burning and the coffee brewing. Happy trails!